Pray for Paris is here. And so is my review. Let's get it. What's poppin' is your boy Mike Powers. We about to get right into this West Side Gun Pray for Paris album review right here in a minute. I will be going through a complete and thorough breakdown of every song on the album, so stay tuned for that. Before we get there, you see I had to cop it. My Pray for Paris Scorpion hoodie, the back joint. It. I'm all the way in there because the merch is always seem to be sold out when I go to the fly guy shop My man Matt stacks hit me up on IG. Let me know this was dropping I copped it immediately and as you can see right here It was a family affair to get this out to the public working man working Bags. We working man Bags. Look at the bathroom. You can't even get in the bathroom Bags to the almost to the ceiling in the bathroom. The whole bathroom. Legal trapping. Beautiful legal hustle right there. It's a wonderful thing to see the whole family being involved, going from trapping on an illegal level to trapping on a legal level. And you love to see that transition and that evolution. We do a subscriber shout out at the end of this video. Make sure all of you stay on to the end of the video. Watch the entire video. It really does help the channel. I thank you for clicking. I thank you for rocking with me. But coming up next is the Mike Powers album review of Pray for Paris by West Side Gun. First joint on this is an intro. It's called Four. Hundred million dollars plus tax and this is an intro but it's a little bit more than the intro so you hear an auction going on for a high priced piece of artwork 400 million dollars plus tax that's the price and you can see that he's setting himself up to let you know off bat he's an artist and he about that art life and that you could compare the project that you about to dig into you could compare that to a high priced piece of art i think it's a brilliant opening first proper joint on here is called no vacancy you see west side gun solo on this joint it's a dj mugs produced joint beautifully executed the pianos are gorgeous on this it's gonna put you right in the mood in the pocket right where you need to be at again west side gun go solo the flow on here is very detailed despite the fact that some think west side gun is a average lyricist and not somebody you put on your top 10 list it's a very detailed flow going on here and this is like pouring honey into my ears this one is a banger next song on this joint is called george bondo Y'all already know about it before I even get into that. Let's go back in time a little bit when I had a live show, maybe a couple Saturdays ago, where I gave this album a grade of 7.9 out of 10. That's how I felt about it upon first listen. I had to go back into it because, of course, it's something brand new being brought to the table, and just one list is not going to be enough to get the full picture of what's been done with this album. So, right now, the review you are getting is the third listen review. George Bondo, I said it was fire the first time, it's still fire. You already know. No, West Side go ham on this joint lyrically. That's what I said. Lyrically, he went ham on here. And the ad libs was dropped perfectly. It's a method to the madness with the way they do this. And when I heard them gunshots ring out, I knew I was home. Conway was up next. What you could tell is he's so comfortable and confident in his flow. He know what the voice do. He know what the lyrical ability is. And he just putting it out there for you and not breaking a sweat, but murdering it. Benny is just Benny, but there's layers to the flow on here. Listen very closely. George Bondo, of course, that's a banger. I call this song perfect. It's a perfect Griselda cut. It's a perfect hip hop cut. Next up is 327 West Side Gun and Joey Badass. Also, Tyler the Creator, Billy Esco on the joint. The beat in the hook is just classic. It's reminiscent of early Nas. And that's a compliment to both albums. West Side going ape shit on this one. Just the voice, the lyrics. It's incredible how he coming out of his shell and putting down tactical lyrics, bars on this project to silence these haters. Billy Esco's roar is fuck lyrically on this song, but Tyler, the creator, may have delivered the verse of the year and not just for this album, the verse of the year. Full disclosure, when he mentions wearing fingernail polish i wonder what the fuck is going on it's just don't seem like it belongs on a west side gun or a griselda project for that matter so that was just a weird aesthetic to have a dude talking about fingernail polish on the same track with west side gun but then this dude went to a whole nother level lyrically if you're not listening to this verse on repeat something's wrong with your ears next cut on this joint is called french toast with wale making a feature appearance at first i didn't get this song the 
singing that West Side Gun exhibited. I was confused about it to an extent, but upon the third listen, it hit me. This is where this album begins to be a true art project. It's an art piece, if you will. It's like something you never heard before. He's rapping and singing during the verses and the chorus. Now you didn't heard rapping and singing before, but you ain't heard it like this. It's beautiful and it's grimy at the same time. While they out here trying to channel Andre 3000, but without the lyrical acumen, it's not a horrible verse. It's a good verse, just not a great verse. It's a pretty decent song still. And the lady singing at the end, she actually saves it from a little bit of the fuck shit that Wale did to this cut. I still recommend it. And then we come up on a joint that a lot of people been talking about on the internet, Eurostep. So solo joint the beat is minimalist conductor williams on the boards right here the beat is allowing west to shine through with the vocals i liked it not because this was like a standout cut of some sort but just the aura so if you in the mood for some boom bap type hip-hop a little bit more smoothed out this is the go-to joint for you next we got allah sent me when i first heard this i hated it because west comes on here singing stretching every word out for it seems like way too long that's why you gotta listen to something like this three times before before you open your fucking big ass mouth talking to myself here i get it it's the aesthetic it's the aura he mastered it these guys is going back and forth on the verses trading off with one another wes benny and conway mastering the style that run dmc invented i believe and this song is yet another masterpiece i'm seeing very rapidly where i went wrong and i'll tell you where i messed up on this review the first time i was listening to it i was doing other stuff i listened to some of it in the whip i listened to the other half of it at the house doing some other stuff when i listened to it the second time i was nice i got real nice with it i wasn't really doing nothing else just chilling listening to it and then it did what it was supposed to do it began to change me and i started to recognize this work for what it really is which is something wholly unique and something that you've never ever seen in the culture before and this is turning out to be another midas touch moment for west side gun because everything he touches seems to turn to gold and this ain't got shit to do with other people's opinions or i'm being pressured because i I don't do that if you saw my review of lulu then you already know we on that griselda shit but i'm gonna tell the truth what the truth is called for regardless if we're in the merch you heard? now we get the 500 ounces with freddie gibbs and rock marciano and this song right here is a moment the beat is crazy i'm not gonna describe it just go listen to it freddie gibbs was out to show that he wasn't gonna leave nothing on the table when it came to any doubt about his lyrical ability acumen dexterity etc do one off on this joint he knew the was about to be a moment and he took full advantage of it rock marciano i cannot say the same thing about sadly now the lyrics is fire i'm gonna give him that but it just felt like he got a little bit lost in the beat not my favorite rock performance it's still a good one not a great one west comes on does this thing as the swag aesthetic it's a beautiful thing to witness another banger next up is versace another solo joint west side gun the beat once again is beautiful this shit is so artistic you might cry when you first hear this beat this is like a high level R&B masterpiece. This ain't necessarily on the Luther Vandross level. It's on the Phil Perry level. It's on the Will Downing level. And pay close attention to the ad libs on here because they drop perfectly every time. And you ain't gonna just hear Wes's voice on the ad libs. I think you're hearing some Benny in there and it was just done magnificently. Claiborne kick with Boldy James, that new signee. You gonna hear West Side Gun's voice being slowed down here. It might take a little bit of getting used to. Please smoke something before you listen to this jam Boldy James just comes on and reminds you that he is a street dude with high level lyrical ability he does what he's supposed to do and it's gonna be very interesting to see that debut Griselda Records project from Boldy banger next up is Sean versus Flair this is a primo beat classic primo beat taking me all the way back to the 90s with some updates to it a lot of people been clowning Wes on the internet about this burgers on a Wednesday chicken on a Thursday joint let's let Wes explain for itself what that chorus is really about well when you want to fed they feed you burgers on Wednesdays and chicken on Thursdays. It, that was the line that if you was locked up in the Fed, you get automatic. You know, that was just for the homies that's locked up behind the wall because they hear it. So you see, he making music for a specific demographic on here. He dropping jewels in there that only certain people can understand. Staying true to his fan base on this one. Layers. And how fitting is it that Prem decided to add Prodigy's voice on the classic scratching that accompanied this particular cut. When Mob Deep is the 
the fathers of this underground, grimy, intelligent gangster flow, or at least brought it into larger prominence and murdered that segment of the mark. Next up, we got Party with Pop Smoke. Tyler, the creator on the beat, I didn't even know he had this kind of shit in his bag. And the only thing I need to tell you about this one, Keisha Plum is on it. She ate this shit for lunch. Need I say more? Go listen to it. But wait, after this video, after this video, last song on this joint, I can't even pronounce it. I think it's in French. Go check it out for yourself. The beat is banging. It's so many gunshot ad libs over this beautiful beat with the strings and the pianos and everything that's going on with the strings and pianos. And then there's this homage to a tap dance legend at the end where you hear these tap dancing feet. I think it's a perfect ending for this album. So what's my grade for this album? Before I gave it a 7.5, I underestimated this album. Every single song damn near from my first review to my third review, the scores went up on damn near every single song. I'm giving this album a nine out of 10 it is indeed a classic well done by the griselda mastermind west side gun and let's get right into these subscriber shout outs hang out for a minute and let's get a new subscribers some love please i can see clearly now very active in the comments what's up homie i see you Leah Badan, hey, what's up? How you doing? Mises, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Diplomat022, I see you, son. Briz Stoner, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the family. Aaron Patrick, thank you. Daniel Torres, welcome. Black Zana, thank you for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you. Ira Yankina, once again, Ira Yankina. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Thank you for joining this family. GXGHCD, what's popping? Yarvan, what's going on, son? Jason Bourne. I see you, man. Love those conversations we be having. Marine Gregorian, weird name, but thank you for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you. Myra Zerpa. Myra Zerpa, thank you for subscribing to this channel. Ahmed the Wood, thanks for the support, homie. Jim Buds 420. I see you. Crypto Fet. Hey, what's up? Irene Viscotti. That's a hard last name for me to pronounce, but thank you for joining the family. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And Alexander Levin. I had to translate your name in Google in order to figure out what the American translation was all the way from Russia. Alexander Alexander Levin, we worldwide with this thing right here. And don't forget to click this video next so you can stay with this movement. I definitely appreciate everybody clicking the video. Go out and get that West Side Gun Pray for Paris album. And until next time, I'm Mike Powers. I'm out.